there was a, an abatement of some kind that okay. posted to that. That's a A refund. I think it's probably a refund. Gotcha. That's, that's what it looked like, but I just want to make sure. Right. Um, next category is all vehicle registration related. Um, the for, again, the first number is not tech. Um, not usually used with the DRA. It's in our system. The next four, one, two, three, four, five, four numbers are the 3220 category, which is re recorded in one account to the DRA, and that combines the 10,000, the 568, and the 1300. So combined, that total came to. Uh, 58980 and I did talk to Linda about her vehicle permit she said she didn't have a high number of new vehicles she said that if we use that number of collections which is 580 it's possible that with um, any type of change in the economy that people will hang on to their cars not because they want to be new so I felt that um, from last year's budget 535 Bumping it up to 560 was a, a fair number to work with. And that gives us a conservative but higher budget revenue for that line. Building permits, uh, even though we've been nickel and diming the building permit for electrical, uh, solar, a lot of the small permits, it seems to have pulled in his revenue from what we budgeted last year, so I've set it mm -hmm. at the same number. Um, then when you look at all the other numbers, it, they come under 3290, and that total group came in at 9,058. If you add all those lines together, mm -hmm. I just rounded it up to 10,000 for an even number. So the license permits and fees bottom line total, $587,000 is uh, recommended revenues for the license permits and fees. Next group, we don't uh, typically budget anything from government, from state. That's where we would um, budget the highway block grant, flood control money, rooms and meals. Well, the um, block grant, we should know what that is. We only know for the two months of the f second half, because they're no. June to July. Mm -hmm. So I know what my two uh, payments are for, the, for that section. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what the other two are going to be. And we typically, see here we have, this is 15 July, October, uh, 2015, then it jumps to January. So I know these are expected. Mm -hmm. And if you look at last year's January, period, they're up by like $3,000. I know the DOT's already got that figured out. I haven't seen any memo yet. No, you probably don't because they don't do that. But I mean, I know they've got it already figured out because it's already in the biennium budget. Mm -hmm. And there you know, you know, with the gas tax and everything, within reason, mm -hmm. what it should be. So. Yeah. So not knowing that uh, January, April, or excuse me, July, October 2016, we typically round it. Um, we do you send that water out? We get two a year. Oh. This one's August. Okay, so the other one will be coming. Yeah, I think we'll get one in April. Definitely answer. So last year it was bumped up. We actually uh, we were up by eight thousand from what we budgeted or expected, mm -hmm. and um, so that coming in at ninety two, I just rounded it to nine thousand ninety thousand. Uh, flood control, we were um, down a little bit from prior year, so I just rounded it up to what we collected. Rooms and meals again, that's um, hit or miss. They set the budget. And it's usually, we don't know about it until we're setting the tax rate. Um, I did keep it higher than last year's budget, uh, but rounded it down to 130000 uh, The next one is a grant revenue. And based on the information I got today, which is in your basket for discussion next week, the milk oil grant is coming in at 4027 So that's where we would list that item. Uh, next category, charges for services. Again, we have <coughs> technically the same account group number of 3401 throughout the entire department. We technically only need to keep 
one account to um, for the category. We categorize or, or record the recycling separately, and then we uh, the system also picks up the disposal fees separately. So um, Woody's been saying for a couple of meetings now that the recycling is mm -hmm. going to be down. Um, well, I mean, it was 32 this year. Why would we want to go with 35? Yeah, because it may be down from the 32, not from the 40. Mm -hmm. but that's, but you know, if right. you think. Going to 30 or? That's what I was thinking. Was to, I don't know, 28. Yeah. 30. 30. 30. Yeah. 30 would be good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So how do you get, my question is, how do you get 40,000 from the first line? 40 lines, all the other categories. Well, so all the other numbers came up to 30,564. Income from departments. Uh, disposal fees at the transfer station, planning, zoning, police income, police admin, that's special duty. Yeah, if I add all of those. It comes to 30,564. Yeah, so why are we doing it for you? Do you think they're all going to increase? Well, it's it's a crapshoot. You can budget conservatively and put 30. Um, well, okay, that's what I'm saying. I yep. I would rather be conservative. Yep. Want me to change it to 30? Do both of them 30? Okay. Yeah. We, can yep. all, we can always, as the year goes on, we revisit this to set the tax rate. And if we find that we're over budget, then we change the numbers to increase that line. So that's going to take... So it'll be 16000 Yes. 15000 60. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, next category, miscellaneous revenues, interest on deposits. We've exceeded our low budget. Um, Pam's changed her method of uh, investing and I've seen an increase on in that line. I just um, the interest on deposits oh, okay. miscellaneous. Jump down there. Yeah. Right. So we, we had normally budget we used to budget $100, $200 because we mm -hmm. really didn't make anything on it. She's changed her investment. Um, mm -hmm. And then the rent of town property, that's Kimball Pro um, Pond property. What is the uh, status on that? Is it just a forever and ever going to be that way because it's part of the conservation? Well, I think I told them the building has to be raised. It's an old building. It was actually a one time summer summer camp. Right. Right. Well, that's I mean, we, I don't think we put any money into it. Oh, no. 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 no, the homeowner has to maintain it's a, it. Yeah, it's a oh. net. Yeah. He has to maintain everything. And have insurance and do everything, yep. All right. So we inspect it on a yearly basis? He reports to the Conservation Commission because it's conservation land property. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that was part of the Nasikis mm -hmm. purchase that. Um, they were supposed to, and it never was finalized, but they were supposed to create a five-acre lot around that Nasikis property so that in the event that the town, they had to pay back the town for funds that we gave them to purchase that property, then they would have a five-acre lot with the house that they could sell off to reimburse the town. That's a lot of uh, history back then. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a pretty flat item. We're guaranteed for the, you know, that amount until we sell the property right. or tear it down, one of the two. Um, and then the others are um, incidentals that come in through. We had um, the lightning strike, the insurance reimbursement. We had um, another holiday credit, which was listed there, 13390 <coughs> I didn't put anything in those. What was the sale of town property? What did we sell? Um, I want to say that it was um, a small, a couple small items from the police department. Yeah, it was a water cooler. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they had yeah. some things at the white farm this right. year, didn't they? Yeah. 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 Police department. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Transfer station. Okay. So if we re mm -hmm. reduce that bottom line by fifteen thousand, we're looking at nine ninety-seven four twenty-seven. 
427. And that will be used to offset the budget. Good. The board's okay with that. I can yeah. finalize these numbers. That's all you need. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Okay. changes. Uh, Brian, you asked me to research the fuel, and I was surprised to see from 2014 to 2015, they were almost right on the mark for the same number of gallons used. So it was a matter of the expense that was reflected on the cost price per gallon. Gas first. Since you brought it up, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do we have those here in this pile? I got one here. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I didn't make it to the company. They're in the mail basket. They're in the mail basket. So at our budget meeting last Monday, we looked at the police department gasoline line. And okay. my understanding was the board reached a consensus that 10,000 was a fair number. And then mm -hmm. Brian asked me to research the actual gallons. Mm -hmm. So I did that for the two years. That's just one sheet of yep. two years. But the history... Mm -hmm. 2014, um, 4,290 gallons at a cost of $14,081, which was three twenty-eight a gallon average. And 2015 used uh, 4,314 gallons, you know, almost... Right on the number. I mean, you're talking about 24 gallons difference, really, um, for $9,454, which comes up to two nineteen a gallon. So, so I just did a quick calculation based on... The rate is 177 estimate $2 a gallon, at 43.14, is 8629 if you use 2 bucks a gallon. So I think wow. 10000 is a pretty good yeah. mark for a yeah. budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now that was your original number, right? Ten? Mm -hmm. I think I gave you fifteen. Fifteen original, yeah. Yeah, tell them through. Because I don't see gas taking off unless something crazy happens. What are we going to go to this week? Twenty seven dollars or something like that? Yeah, it's under one seventy when I drove by today. Down the Urban in uh, Gostown. Yeah. Really? It's under 170. Question. Yeah. Yep. I don't tell us to do with that. Yep. You can answer it too. For me. <coughs> I think yeah, down the hill here, they're usually even cheaper than Irving. So. Yeah. One down the hill, you think? Uh, I drove by the Irving by the police station and the, the women's prison. Yeah. It was under 170 when I came home tonight. Oh, nice. Okay, it was 177. Under 170? Yes. Yeah, because I paid, I think, 177 this morning when I filled up. Yeah, mm -hmm. two days ago it was 177. That's what I took. Yeah. It was like 160-something like the other day. Yeah, wow. What? I think it was, I thought I saw them like 168 the other day. I know the ones mm -hmm. in, in Hooksit are cheaper than the ones over by the prison. Yeah. No competition. Yeah, 380. Yeah. So I think... Uh, What's that? Everybody's good with the uh, yeah. clean out of ten. Yeah. All right. Fine. Then um, what are we got here. Um, we also got an email here regarding the radio system. Uh, looks like uh, awaiting assignment of radio frequencies from the FCC. We expect it next week and in install uh, first week of February. You know, according with Woody. Uh, FCC license fee out of this year's budget and 
No. And it was for 1500 to add to fees and services, correct? Yes. This is what you're looking at. That, that's an estimate. I don't know what the final number is going to be, but I should find out pretty soon. Hopefully, it's going to be a lot less than that. The SEC licensing should be about 1500 right? That's okay. what I was led to believe was going to be somewhere in that range. So it just sounded like a good round number to pick. Um, just a one year and one time this, this is for 10 years, I believe. Ten years. I don't know what they charge for renewal. It, it, I just don't know. Okay. Yeah. I think John does it, doesn't he, Allison? It's like four, five hundred dollars yeah. every five, ten years or something. I don't know. I, I used to do the renewals in my other job, and it was never a cost involved. Well, I think the, this, there was a mm -hmm. company involved in. When you get the final number, you can. Yeah, we need to adjust it. Well, we but that's now. if I have it for the budget. Yeah, well, he says he thinks he might get it next week. Well, I'm assuming it's going to come when when they get the um, the frequency. So hopefully, it'll be here soon. Right, Lonnie, but you know, on the off chance. So if not, use 15 as a placeholder. I still have to yeah. get the numbers finalized yeah. into the DOA. I do. You want the placeholder? Did you put it in I use it all the time. Oh, okay. She's already adjusted it for us. Yeah. Okay, good. That's what I was going to say. But he has license new frequency now for new regulars. Okay. So we're good there. Yeah, right? it's, it's, yeah. it's part of the experience. And then let's we'll see. Um, oh, gotcha. He is uh, reduced the part time office reduction from 2387 so. to 1989 hours. So it's a reduction of 7,566 for the part time, uh, part -time officer. You already made that? Yep. That's on the next previous page. Yeah, I so. yeah. Question for you, Chief. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, you've reduced the hours here. Now, you have a secretary that does, kind of walks in both worlds. She's your secretary and she's also a part-time officer. Is the part-time officer hours that you have budgeted for there's, there's include about a, her? There's about a $2 difference. Right, but I mean... So, I mean, it, you know, it's all going to come out of the same pot, so... If it's, yes, yeah, seventeen. I'll say it's seventeen for her, and it's nineteen. Yeah. No, no, I understand, but I mean, uh, I guess my question is, if you have hours scheduled for her in your calculations for part-time hours, did you, did you also have hours calculated as a secretary? You know, it's kind of almost like double account. You know. I, I didn't calculate any, laid any hours for her. Okay. That's all. That's all. I was just wondering. I, I think we'll be able to make that work. Okay. No, absolutely. I understand. I just wasn't sure if you know. Yeah, they get ahead. Of you know, you get two categories. You get going. Sometimes it's easy to just like, well, figure it all. Out and oops, no. Uh, no, no calculations in there for her. It's it, it's within a couple of dollars. I think it's something that we will we'll be able to make work. And, and there's really no way to, to tell how, how much she'll be working at capacity. Right. Well, no. No, I just I, so I was curious. So. What do you think, gentlemen? I'm good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the adjustment's yeah. right. Yeah. Appreciate Sounds it. Good Thank you to me. Put that yeah. up into it. So. All right. The one okay. piece that's missing out of this whole budget is that government buildings. Yeah. That's on the shoulders, right? Yeah. I got this right in that down. So did you start on it? Or yeah, but that? I've still got a lot of. Yeah, I know. But can we see what you got so far? Well, I have a folder full of duplicate charges here, and I have to go through. Um, I have yearly inspections, monitoring fire department, John had a $400 mm -hmm. estimate. Kitchen fund, I have to put $1,000 for that. Generator inspection, minor, ma um, major. Do we need to change the name of the kitchen fund yes. on our end? Yes. On our side too? Yes. Yeah. We have to do a warrant article. No, because it comes out of here. I was out of a line. It doesn't matter. Huh? You're, you're authorized to take $1,000 out of the budget for a kitchen fund. No, the kitchen it's fund just is a building. Ours has never been a Warren article. We take money that we have budgeted for our building and maintenance and we cut a check mm -hmm. to the kitchen fund to be deposited. But the kitchen fund. funds are going to be this a kitchen not, fund. It's not, yeah, our, it's not going to be a kitchen fund. It's not going to be a kitchen we fund. Agree. Right. We agree. It's going to get. We'll go to our town meeting with a Warren article changing the name. No, we've never. Yeah. This has never been a, a warrant for us. It's always been paid to the and school. And I think in the MOU in for our side, way. it was just a line item, Ted. Yeah. We didn't put it. We didn't put it in there for us as a warrant. The school is going to rename it as a warrant because they have the they hold they're the owners of the capital reserves. Right. So they have to have a warrant. Item. But I was just wondering, do we need to rename it? I'll no, I'll rename my line my description for the expense. Yeah. But it doesn't need to be a warrant. We don't need a warrant. Okay. 
to rename it. It's part of the building maintenance. Well, it's coming out of here. Right. This building got down given a government It's already building. on the warrant. Basically, this is a you know, budget, yeah. in essence, is one of the articles, that, you know, one of the warrant articles. So Are you saying you want me to put it in as a warrant for $1,000? Uh, when we were discussing it, they said, we'll go and, and change, you know, on the warrant article, we'll change not only the name, yeah. but but the describe the purpose right. mm -hmm. and also the amount. Okay, that's fine. And, and then they the agreement we would go. Well, at the time, I think we I know that side. I thought there was a warrant needed on our side, and we were corrected later mm -hmm. that the town side of it was just a line item in our budget. Mm -hmm. So, in the in the MOU, the our need for the warrant article went away. But in the beginning, you're right though, the beginning discussions, I thought the two of us needed it. Right. I didn't understand that ours was a line item. I thought ours was also a warrant. Mm -hmm. And so did the school. They thought the same thing. That's because they probably do it on their end. They assume they, on their they end, it is a warrant. Yeah. And that's how they ask us for the funds, is they say, refer to the warrant mm -hmm. article passed, yeah. mm -hmm. and the funds are being requested yeah. for deposit into that fund. Yeah. And we contribute. Well, I'm just saying I always need to be renamed, but not, not to put anything else. Article. No. Right. So we can double check the MOU just to make sure that we're not talking out of school, though. Yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't. I can check with the DRA, but I know that this, yeah. the way we have it set up within our government buildings, yeah. we can spend it on whatever we want. And if this, we've agreed with the school, to give them $1,000 to deposit mm -hmm. into this fund, yeah. then it's a, a joint yep. effort for okay. doing it within this budget. Yep. Um, okay, uh, generator inspection, uh, we have the major minor for, for two um, generators, and then John also requested a school generator repair. Got a quote for the 859, excuse me, 989.56 for to replace all the fluids, the... Got the was that it's a separate just, from the uh, current? Yep. Current. Yep. Yeah, wasn't that for doing a load test that went have you too? Yeah, and they've got to replace all the... I know you guys were talking about polishing oil or some crazy thing. Plugs and stuff like that. Yeah. Wiring Things that will be on me, I've never heard of polishing. <coughs> Isn't that, Chief? Yeah. Alright, then the other... Um, I just got the quote that's in there for the town office parking lot lights. I don't know if oh. that's... Well, is that what this is? The RT... Oh, did electric? I put it? Yes. Yep. Okay. Can you make me a coffee or what you're reading off? Yep. I have looked at some of these lights since um, John was here, by the way. I don't know if they're exactly the same brand, but I have seen some of these things around. They have not worked. Over one of the buildings. You want to have this? No. Yeah, it's underneath your packet. It was it's the last packet. set of documents in mind. It's just like an invoice. It's a quote. It's R and T. Yeah, it's sort of, um, I might have an over the doors. Yeah. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But I haven't put in the um, quotes for the fire alarms yet. Does everybody have a coffee? 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 I mean, I've only just started putting oh, my numbers okay. in, but yep, I have a few you. other invoices. All right. Oh, you don't? Yeah, thank you. All right. So... 
has been working with me on getting some quotes for I saw the email, I think it's in here somewhere. This is the original one that you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. one. Yeah, the two all fiction I know we talked about it. There's the option two. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, option two, lights over entries. No, no, I think we did light over entries and one four, right? Yeah, yeah. one yeah, four. Lights over entries and one yeah, four. Yeah, one And that's what this is? Okay. Yeah. I know I saw an original email. I don't know whether it was in here or wherever it was. That, you know, he added $900 for excavation. If the town does the excavation. It is in the email. Yeah. In the email it's that came with a quote. Yeah, and I didn't put the email on. I saw it. Did I put it in there? Yeah, right here. Okay, so that's the well, time we can get to that. Jeff to the excavation camera. Yes, right here. It says, hello, here is my proposal for the lighting in the town office. In my quote, I carried $900 for the excavation, which I would credit if town was to do that. Please let me know the outcome of the proposal for this work. So all he's looking to do is to have Jeff dig the hole or trench? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we would have Jeff do that work, right? That would make sense. Can yeah. Jeff install this precast 16 by 5? Or does this guy need to do that? I mean, I don't think Jeff could easily install it because then he'll just mount the, you know, then he'll run the conduit to it and mount the uh, pole once it's in. Uh, but I mean, that would be some coordination between them and, and Jeff. Right, no, I understand. I, I'm, yep. you know, maybe I'm being picky, you know, but if they Dirt work is dirt work. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Well, you could dig the hole, but he, he's talking about just excavation. Yeah, right, just, but... Just digging in the trench and digging a hole for the... Yeah, but then they're going to install a precast 16 by 5, right. so why can't Jeff do that? Or does the wiring have to go in before that happens? Oh, well, no, they'll take him, they'll come over, they'll drop the precast in there, then they'll take and run the conduit from the building to that, tie yeah. it in. But does it run it through the center of it or over the outside of it? it the precast comes with it on, with the conduits already in the precast. Oh, already itself, in it. So they just mount up to the oh. conduits. And then they'll come out. And then the they feed the wires. They feed the wires. Gotcha. Through. All right. Good. Uh, according to the quote, <clears throat> he's saying, I'll give you $900 per if you dig the front. For the excavation. But right. he's not saying I'll give you the credit if you... If you place down that. Yeah. They may just bring it and have it on the back of the truck and yeah, they try to crank it. Yeah, they target the crane and just Truck on the crane and just drop it yeah, in. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Okay. I mean, if they need his escalator or machine or yeah, that, something to do with them. Then we get it discounted. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. So you're okay with me just leaving it for now? Do you want me to get all these totals? I'm supposed to have um, well, St. Uh, Pierre's. Yep. Do us there? I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah, it does. Check with Jeff. Five five nine. Nine. Be Client the and then we can just budget the $900 less. Yep. Less than $900. Unless these guys won't keep going in there, the grand total. Right. I'm sorry, what was that, Brian? Uh, I was just asking Lane to check with Jeff if he was okay with uh, doing the excavation, then we could just budget $900 less. Yeah, we'll yeah, leave it in there for now, but yeah, get, for now. Yeah, get Jeff's buy in. Yep. yep. If he buys in, then we can adjust but, it later. Jeff is not doing this as a town employee. Yeah. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? Rotate. Yeah, we don't own the equipment. 
we got to charge you as All right, a, so then we, want, then we want a quote from Jeff. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he'd probably be a lot cheaper than 900 but he's not going to do it as a town employee. Yeah, yeah I forget that he's done by the equipment, right? Mm. Yeah, good point, Ted. Well, I know. He, can you dig that hole with a D1? What, for 500 bucks, I'll get a shovel and I'll dig it. Oh, that's a D1. Yeah, well, a shovel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> dig a hole with a D1. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you won't shovel snow, but you'll shovel the trench. Yeah. <laughs> well, for 900 bucks. Yeah. 900 bucks? Oh, he said 500. He'll do it, I heard he'll him. He'll do it for you. Yeah, he'll he, do it for us. Even for 500, I'll subcontract this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be lucky to get him to do it for six. <laughs> Teenagers nowadays don't do anything. Yeah. 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 Huge care at the front of them. We ready to go to the next one? Yeah, yeah okay. Um, I'm requesting some repairs to the sinks in the office here to have the thing. Are we not talking about the fire alarms in it? About the what? Fire alarm in that? Yeah. yeah, we will oh. be. I haven't got that on my list here, but oh, you have gotcha. the quotes there. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, for the sink, what are you going to do with the sink? I want to uh, change out the trap and then put a spigot on the bottom so we can, or change the faucet so we can fill the bucket to clean the office. We can't do that in either sinks. So you need a tap. That's well, because we don't have we don't have like a laundry room or right. A we don't have a room. Yeah. Room, room, yeah. yeah. So I've got a quote for six hundred dollars for the two sinks here. Um, You're gonna do two, both one. sinks? Why two? Why not just one? one. Uh, it's been a long time since I've, I've talked to the guy. Uh, what, but fill a bucket for uh, water for doing what? Cleaning the office. Let me look at the quote. So is that gonna be hot and cold or just hot? Oh, there it's hot and cold now. No, I don't. no spigots. No, you're going to put one spigot that's a mixer? Or? Let me see what you're doing here. Yeah, how is, what are you trying to solve? I mean, these are, I, I can see the hallway in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. But over on this section, it's all works. Well, it's to fix both plumbing. The plumbings aren't code. He looked at both of them, and they, there's no trap in there. And I know lately we haven't had any smell since we've had that hot water tank in there. But there's no way for us to use any of the, the faucets to fill, like, unless you take a little half bucket thing, fill it up and keep pouring. So you need a faucet to fill it up. Okay. Yeah. But is that going to be a mixer, hot and cold, you know, like for a washing machine or a valve, or are they going to be separate? Install, installation of proper vent and P-trap drain servicing one laboratory sink and a kitchen sink. So you got no P-traps. So and, that's, and it says to fix both sinks, if they are complete at the same time, $500. And if they are separate, then it's $300 per sink. Estimate includes material, labor cost, and one-year warranty on the other. And that's going to get you what you want? Yeah, I think so. Well, I mean, right now, there's no P-traps. So I mean, it's basically... No, no, it's for filling the pills. Sink, well, yes, but I mean, there's, there's no stink pipe. Right, no, I get it. No mm. vent on the thing. Well, there is venting in the room. room. Yeah, venting in the room. So. Yeah. So yeah. how is that going to get you a, a tap so that you can fill a pail? He's going to put the tap on the other one, and he's going to fix both P traps. But are the sinks big enough that you can put a bucket in? They'll be underneath. Right? Underneath. Underneath. It's going to be underneath. So you'll have a tap underneath somehow. Mm -hmm. What about okay. the, um, we're going to have some type of like uh, pan or something like that? Yeah, you're going to need a know, basin. For some type of basin that you know, at least to keep in case the water spills or. Yeah. Or the things oh, that are dripping. Your drips. Okay. I mean, yeah. you obviously, you won't have a drain in because you. Drill a hole on the floor. Yeah, you can do that. It's a dirt floor anyway, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it a dirt floor under the building? Yeah, no, but there's, two, there's two sump pumps. Oh, there you go. Well, oh, yeah, but won't that compromise the insulation? You have going the <coughs> that you put in? There's no insulation. This no? is just an <laughs> estimate. I'll have to insulation get my phone quotes anyways. Oh, okay. Can we put a. Vapor barrier? Vapor barrier. Not where that's sent to. That's where the. Basement is a cement. How do we do that? We got gotcha. a new bathroom. How do we get a new bathroom and not to come and build it up to go? It was done by volunteers. <coughs> it was done by volunteers. Still has to be an inspection. Yep. No, it doesn't. 
It sounds exempt like from all that stuff. It sounds exempt like from inspections and all that stuff. There's no P-traps on either of them. They're not cold. It's done before my tenure here, so I can tell you that. And while he's fixing that, I'm going to have him put the extra spigot on, spig it, on it so I can have something to fill a bucket with. How long ago did we do those bathrooms? Uh, 2006. Oh, not that long ago. Then. Oh, not, not, not that old. old. Yeah, yeah so exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bathroom. Interesting. It was before we started. Yeah. yeah. I don't know which who volunteered to do the plumbing, but man, they just so you're saying there's no more land 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 land. Land. maybe, but they I don't know. <laughs> say that vent plugs, it's gonna vent directly through the oh, right, kitchen the in yeah. uh, the bathroom sinks. Awesome. That's the whole idea of the P trap is to keep it from keep that. the uh, keep the uh, gases. sewer gases out. Mm -hmm. How could a contractor put it in and not the code? Uh, if it was a volunteer, they just probably did it. Yeah. And I don't Mike Poirier did it. Did the labor. I, I don't know who we brought in for a plumber. Well, we definitely can't go back and, and see him. Volunteer project doing school bathrooms, and they had to be inspected. Yeah. Did John inspect them? Probably did. Yeah. Don't know. Okay. I mean, it's the right thing to do. Absolutely. Yeah, you got a health and safety issue going on there. Yeah. But don't think don't wind up matching it in that same tank. I mean, it's like with state buildings, I mean, you know, it's the fire marshals and the electrical inspectors are the ones that have authority over them, and half the time they don't do it because they allow the locals to do it if they want to. And then a lot of the locals won't even do it because it's like, well, it's a state building, what do I care? So a lot of times. All right, and I should have quotes um, by next Monday because he, he assured me um, today in an email that I will get quotes for the repair of a few shingles on the roof, right, Ted? Yep. Uh, the, um, he's going to replace a pane in the library building. He's going to um, raise the air conditioner on, outside the library, replace rotted wood around the base of the uh, library, paint it, and paint up to the bottom sill of all the windows around. You're going to give us two quotes. Two quotes. Okay. From the paint, up, up to the sill. Do the sill window sills and paint up to the sills and do the whole building. Okay. Um, so the town roof repairs will include um, some flashing that's pulling away from the chimney, which I'll add into this category, and then um, replace a few of the shingles because he did say the shingles up here would still have another five, yeah. five years, ten yeah. years. Yeah. Lean on that library work. Yeah. Um, I know that. Um, sure, her name is escaping me. Andrew. Librarian Andrea, thank you. Um, she had a quote to have the damage on the floor repaired for five hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, that's a different contractor. Why don't we roll it all into one? Oh, I'll get quotes. Right. She's oh, just okay. giving it to me for. We have okay. to do telephone phone quotes yep. when it's less than a certain dollar amount. Gotcha. So just, just for budgeting. Yep, gotcha. So okay. I, I, I've asked her twice to send me that quote, so she hasn't, but I will okay. follow up with that. Um, Brian, well, I think if nothing else, you, you could use 500 bucks as a placeholder. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Jeff did get me a price on <laughs> a 14 foot door, and he said, uh, seven, I think he said seven thousand dollars for the new door for one 14 foot door with the remote and all the hookup um, the part that I'm getting a separate quote for is cutting the concrete and framing out the wood who will they um, have um, do that work will Jeff do it or is he gonna hire no, no, it that's something he would he would do it no, no. 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 Highway, install a highway door no do you have companies so um, selected yet no. no. We're just sure. trying to get all right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Estimates. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. These are all placeholder numbers. So how he? So how he? Jeff is guesstimating the cost. He made a phone call for me. He made a couple calls. Oh, he for did. Me. Okay. And he said that for a 14 foot door, it would be about seven thousand dollars. Installed. Installed. Yep. Is that right? That did not sound like enough. I ha no no that's just head. one. Well, two years ago he got a quote from somebody. They were gonna widen the opening. Yeah. Right now he's got 12 foot. Yeah, I know, and he wants 14. Right. They were going to yeah. cut the concrete, widen the doors, frame and everything, put a new door in for about 7,000. Really? So yeah. now we're talking 7,000 just for the door. Maybe he gave me a different number. But you have St. Pierre getting me the... He was going to go talk to Jeff. To cut. So maybe he gave Jeff the number. 
Concerned, and, and of course, I don't know enough about it, but I would think you'd want to have the door company quote the whole job, not somebody else cutting away concrete and wall, mm -hmm. and then somebody else quoting the door and install. Because what if the door cutter didn't cut the way it yeah. needs to be cut for well, the again, install? You know, I know, it's, I know it's budgetary numbers, no, I get it. But. Well, I mean, a perfect example is our new uh, patrol shed over in Rochester. It's an engineered building, and then you get the doors, and then both of them. They're both doing this, the companies are pointing at each other. Because right. It's, they were so supposed when we to, go to get the, the big, get both. Well, well, it's like you want to have one once, company once, do it. Once it's science to do it, right. you got to get door companies. And I don't know if they, they do that stuff. Maybe all they do is sell and Maybe, install doors. Know, but and you, you got to have the... Uh, correct what, open. What you do is you'd hire like the GC to come in and do all the cutting and framing. And they, right. and they sub out the door. So they're liable for it. Right. And they work with the door company. To yeah, because that's not going to be a standard door. It's going to be a custom door. I'm not sure. It's a standard. It's a standard. <coughs> you can go to Home Depot and buy it. Okay. I don't know enough about it, but okay. Yeah. So, no. Right. No, 14 foot. No, 14 foot. <coughs> All right. And did I give you each copies of the yes. security alarms? Yeah. Um, All security fire, right? Well, one is for the town offices and the other one is the highway. Right. I got the town office in front of me. Which one do you guys go? Yeah, no, it's functioning, but it's it's outdated, mm -hmm. and the control we he was looking at the control. So that's why I'm surprised this still works. I don't know all the thing, but the company that manufactured is no longer in business. <laughs> and he tried of to course. get a couple of replacement parts because he didn't think they would last. Mm -hmm. Right before CF put it in, that's how old it is. He couldn't, oh, he couldn't even <coughs> find anybody that had the parts. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's not repairable. Yeah, I saw that. Huh? How, does it, how does it know if it's a rodent? Rodent immunity. Oh, yeah. I like that. It's because the zapper just kills them dead. Why right, is this 14 bucks monthly here, only really 24 for the library? Or the fire department or something like that? Why is it always different? I don't know if it's, they have a, a. This is just a um, alarm. It's not a heat slash. No, smoke heat detectors, right? A combination of photoelectric beam, fixed heat. It's 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 six it was one sixty eight a year. I don't know if he gave us the wrong number. No, twelve times fourteen is one sixty eight. Yeah, but on the other one it's two eighty eight annually. Yeah, yeah it's twenty four. So why is it different? Oh, oh two eighty eight is the hundred dollar test testing and then a one sixty eight monitoring. So the mon so mm -hmm. no, if it's two eighty eight and if you took a hundred bottles for a test it'd be one eighty eight. Yeah, one eighty eight. It'd be hundred and twenty for testing if that was the case. And he's got a monthly fee there of 24 bucks. Mm. So why is it $10 more? What's the difference? Oh, it's got to be a different system. Well, that it is. Oh, this has strobe horns and everything else. It's got to be something to do with that. Yeah, it's got an outdoor strobe. Well, it's a different one. This one's a fire, uh, one's a fire light fire alarm control communicator, and this one's a DSC power series security alarm control communicator. So. That may be the difference. Maybe. Uh, anyway. Well, they're not the same animal, that's for sure. Complete installation program and customer training does not include any local prints and fees. We don't have customers to buy hunting, VAC, and telephone line. Do we have uh, those words? Andy there? What, telephone line? Well, oh, it says pro, uh, we got to provide 110 and telephone line. Yep. Don't have to be there. What he didn't include in this, though, was um, the estimate for the electrical. Yeah, electrician. And he said that to me, he researched the conduit talk, price. Which one are we talking about? Yeah, we're talking about town or the uh, state okay. where one is. Okay, well, the, you were comparing both. So no, no, once you get into the highway, we'll go a little further. Yeah. Okay, town office, one, uh, 1488, and then monitor, annual monitoring, monitoring, 
168. So that. Yeah, we, and do we have a functioning fire alarm in here yet? No. So we don't even have a functioning fire alarm. John John says he's tested it and it does. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah. That's, it, it does goes, sound. It, it goes to clunk. Okay. Yeah. And we don't somehow we got lost in the translation. We haven't paid for that service for about five twenty years. years. Yeah. <laughs> It ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They'll give us a retroactive bill. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll that in a minute. We don't need pull stations or anything. Uh, we'll put that in there. Uh, we're in here. Well, no, I mean, for fire alarm wise, we don't have any any uh, pull stations or anything in the building here in case someone saw a fire could pull it and get everybody out of here. Because you're allowed. <laughs> and do you need Maybe. one on the outside of this building? It, will there be one on the outside of pole box? Oh, yeah, indoor siren, so, you know. Probably not, huh? No. I don't know. That's a, just a question. Do we need one? I don't know. Does John look at these folks? Uh, well, I think if you... He's if, been talking to back and forth to him. Yeah, I think if you, if it was required, they would put it. This is to cope. Because mm -hmm. I asked him for security this morning. Or is it... Well, is it just for security, or is this going to be fire and security? Because if we already have an operating fire, well, one if the one for the town office here just says security alarm on it, with the other one, right. but it has says fire. it has smoke and heat detectors at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm confused. I don't know if you know. Anyway, that's what we got in here. There's a smoke and heat. Yep. There is a smoke. Oh, and heat. okay. Down below here it says additional devices available yeah, for your consideration to protect entire building. Right. Door contact switch, smoke heat detector, motion detector, remote panic. So what do we get? I'm not sure what we're getting here. We're yeah. getting for, uh, first item, door contact switch. Mm -hmm. We're getting two. And where where doors are those? The, the two, two main doors, doors that we got that we walked through with. Yeah, well, why would you want them on all doors? Yeah, that's right. Well, that's I mean, what's it, listed I mean, down below. Kind of silly. That's an emergency exit where there's no keys to come in. So, unless you're walking from the inside going out, that door. Yeah, but if it's security, somebody could be breaking that door open. Yeah. But also, I mean, if you hit that crash bar, we should have, the alarm should sound also. Yeah. Because if it's an emergency exit, I would think someone's going out because it's an emergency. Unless you do like we do in the cemetery, we just don't. So he's not going to put an alarm in the. Uh, Selectman's office? Yeah, that's primarily what the, this is to secure the Selectman's office. And then he's also recommending with the panel mm -hmm. that he installs in the front entrance as you walk through mm -hmm. the door that everyone coming in, if we add these added devices, mm -hmm. everyone who has a key or passcode to get into the building is going to have to unarm the passcode, uh, the, the security. And he said he can also mm -hmm. set it so that it just automatically turns on at midnight or 11 mm -hmm. o'clock, whatever. We decide we want to do. So, I don't think everybody's passcode to get into the door should be the same passcode they use on the alarm. Yeah. yeah. So that way you don't have. Speaking yeah. of speaking of the uh, passcode on the door, somewhere in all this stuff, do we have the cost for the software to track that door? They haven't. Uh, they have not um, sent me that. Then. But okay. They said it was an option. And they well, we're gonna put it, it in here, though, aren't we? Yeah. Well, okay. No, I had I hadn't put it in this budget, but. No, we should. You did say that we. Would. Yeah. We said we were going to do it. I thought that's why I was just wondering about okay. it. Um, but anyway, back to this thing here. Well, I don't understand why you wouldn't have a security alarm on each door and window. And window? Yeah. If it's security. Well, the infrared sensors will take care well, of that. Well, that will take care of that, I guess. But why wouldn't each door have an alarm? Indoor siren. Every, every outside door. Yeah, I mean, why the back door, you? this one, and these yeah. two. Yeah, you got three here, you got one on the What's back, right? There's a total of yeah. four doors. Mm -hmm. And what about the one that leads to the basement of this building? Wouldn't you want to alarm that as well? Indoor. That's in the oh, inside. Isn't, isn't there a door in no, the bulkhead here? Selectman's office? Oh, if you go up. No, that goes just to the oil tanks. Well, that's right what I mean. Do you, but that's just oil tanks. So you, that's the only thing there? Yeah. So they can't it comes get... comes up to the wall. No. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, no. no it's just a, no it, idea. It's, its own purpose. Okay. Building. All right. Yeah, so I don't know why you wouldn't want an alarm on each door or anything. So what's a wireless receiver? Well, it's not the third. Uh, that's basically everything, that, like your infrared motion detectors, your smoke heat detectors. He can come in and explain all this next yeah. week if you want. Because 
But again, this is a placeholder. If yep. you want to say, yes, this is something we want to do, mm -hmm. put it in the budget, and then have them come in and talk to you about it. We, you may decide you don't want the extra door switches or the extra mm -hmm. smoke heat detector. Or I, think he, I think one of these he's hope, he, he wants to put down in the basement, too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Smoke. put it in the basement. The so smoke heat detector right by the, uh, the furnace. Boiler. Yeah, in the furnace area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's where you want that rodent immunity detector is in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the big room. Right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, I guess we've got some questions. On this yeah. Time. I'm just kind of curious how yeah. we plan to lay it out, I guess, would be helpful, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bring what do you guys think? Put it in there as a placeholder for the time being? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, probably long overdue. All right. Yeah. We're looking at $2,002 for it. We get the four items on the bottom, the total installation, and then annual fee. Well, the four items on the bottom, Lee, mm -hmm. the door contacts need to be, if we're getting two OP, you need to add two, two more of those. Yeah. And maybe only one smoke detector, maybe one motion, maybe one panic button. So you're saying another door contact? At least, at least two doors. Yeah, two more doors. So 2051. Well, it says additional devices. We don't know how many he actually needs to do the whole system properly. We don't. Right. So, so I would I say... see a plan. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was thinking, yeah, too. Yeah, but in the meantime, we should probably... Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's the same thing. I'm working on a panic button. There's yeah. like three people, four Yeah, people I'm thinking you might want more than one panic button. We all have panic buttons. Yeah. One, sure. one in every office. One, two, yeah. three, four. I'm There's thinking. Two in my office, and then one in these. I want the panic office. button. I want the panic button to see in lieu of the uh, pull station for fire or something. Maybe, but we don't know that. No, I don't. But know. I'm thinking there would be one in Steve and Steve's, Judy's, Linda's, and then the town office, and then one mine. Yeah. Yeah, and right. one in the uh, vault because that's where you're going to be hiding when we're under attack. That's the panic room. Yeah, that'll be the panic room. Don't forget the combination of these stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ted did say something about that, Allison. I was going to mention it. <laughs> Are you changing this to four? No, we'll never get out of Are you changing this to four? Yes. Four what? Panic four panic button. buttons. Yes. We need at least four. Okay. Four of those and two of those. Four of the number. So we're doing, are we doing two door switches? Two additional, yeah. Two. So you total of four. Two. Well, I mean, we don't have to get the exact number right now no. because we, if we're talking. No, about but for ballparking. Yeah, but I mean, because yeah. if you know, we need to find out the exact uh, yeah setup and everything. But so basically, we're gonna have fifty, hundred, seventy, three hundred, three grand. You know, just put a number. Well, in another five hundred. All it, yeah, all it does, we can reduce it later. Yeah, twenty five hundred. I think would be. Yeah. Twenty five. That works. Okay. Twenty-five. Because yeah. it's over two grand. Twenty-five hundred. Oh yeah. Oops. Okay. In the highway. Highway. Okay. You have the sheet, and then I have the email when he was doing his work on getting the electrical for a placeholder. Um, estimate uh, on approximate labor and cost of materials includes wire conduit labor. By an electrician contractor to pre-wire the fire alarm system to be seventeen hundred to two thousand, plus man lift two to three hundred. This would be in addition to the previous proposal of thirty-three thirty. Well, this right. is just an email. <coughs> I just sent this to me tonight yeah. oh. at six o'clock. So another twenty three hundred dollars roughly? Yeah, so. Yep. Twenty three hundred plus the thirty three. I got a dumb question. It occurred to me when I was driving the other day. But that doesn't include cable can do it black boxes or back boxes yeah, that's labor. That's cool. No, no, no. He's got an asterisk kit. This. Yeah, no, but then he's going to say he got a contract that gave him a quote. And that's what this is. Oh, I just gave you. Why I got it. Right. Okay, yeah, that's the twenty three hundred dollars. Sorry. Oh, okay. Did yes. So twenty three is going to be fifty six. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I got a dumb question. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the highway garage, we plus a year's monitoring or eight months, six months. Um. 
Yeah, but you're going to, I don't want to interrupt you, but you're going to have one line sure, right. for all the barn frames for all the buildings. I have to get yeah. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. No, that's all right. I was just kidding. Um, I'm not familiar with the highway garage per se, and maybe Ted can enlighten us, but at last meeting I heard that we let the hire trucks park their vehicles inside the town garage. Yep. What is our liability in case something happens? I.e. it burns question. down. Now, my question is, what if it's our equipment that catches fire and, and burns it down, or what happens if it's their equipment that burns it I down, and you got two other people's I think vehicles. we've had this question before. I'm, I'm sure you have. I might have it flagged in the, in the, the PLT. I, I think the, what I recall is that their insurance would cover their vehicle, and our insurance would cover the, the building. Yeah, but the point he's making is, what if one of their vehicles gets on fire and burns down our building? Yeah, they're liable. Well, who's responsible for that? Yeah, yeah. Well, why should the town of Dunbar be picking up the cost of all the lost equipment because yeah. their equipment was faulty? Well, that's the whole point fire. for us asking for a certificate of liability on that. Yeah, that's liability, but that's, that's not that's not that's, that's, for that's property. This property. Yeah, that's in case they mm -hmm. smash somebody's car or something. They, Do we have to ask for proof of insurance of their vehicles? I think we need to ask our insurance company how they see this, yeah. mm -hmm. how they would see it. If they're parking in the garage. Yeah, if, if a uh, contractor's vehicle catches fire and burns. They've been known to do that. And you have to yeah, make right. sure that you tell the insurance company we don't charge them to park their car right. in their vehicle. We just allow them to do it. Because yeah. mm -hmm. so there's a difference. You're we, allow it, them. we allow it for our convenience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I understand why you do it. You know, we're doing it right. and such like that. But I mean, right. all it takes is just one. Well, yeah, I agree. One little short circuit, and you know, whether it's ours or theirs. I'm pretty sure that's what happened in Henneker. Yeah. One of their trucks caught fire. It was. Oh yeah. It was one of their trucks. Or it was one of their trucks. It was yeah. that. Yeah. But it's their garage, and it was their town vehicles. Too. Right. Yeah. And it went up. And the funny thing is, I, my boss was in Henneker, and he's familiar with it because he was on the rebuilding no. committee. No. The truck that caught fire. It caught in the middle and it went up the wall along the roof. Oh, yeah. Down and most of the damage that happened to the other trucks was the building coming down on them, sure. crushing them. They were still salvageable. You know, they brought them out to salvage them. You know, they got put new cabs and you know on the chassis and such. And, yeah. And rebuild them. Well, they were still pretty good shape. And the town administrator, unbeknownst to anybody, just wholeheartedly took it upon themselves to say, "Oh, we'll sell it for scrap." I mean, you're getting pennies on the dollar for what it was worth. Yeah, that is a good question, Ted, about yeah. liability and that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Anyway. So. All right. Finally, for control, I'll go strobe lights, heat detectors, heat detectors, <coughs> the pull stations. Yeah, see, you did pull stations here. That is because he checked with John and it's required. Yep. Why do you need a piss station in the town garage but not up here where you get people? <coughs> I don't understand. That doesn't make sense to me. You have no people in that building, well, typically. Yeah. Yeah, well, that may be the, the difference between the security alarm and the fire alarm here. I mean, that's what we need to ask the question. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah. doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. But. Why do you have Braille on the elevator touchpad in the parking garage? Because blind people ride elevators, apparently. But can they drive a car? Well, 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 you're making an assumption that they drove <laughs> it. They could, they could have walked. You're making an assumption. I <laughs> well, they could have been dropped off. Mm -hmm. The sad part is that somewhere along the line, somebody probably get themselves hurt or in trouble, and they were blind in a parking garage and near the elevator. So, yeah. hence you get the rail on it now. <laughs> I don't know. He does this. Yeah, I'm just saying, he does this to Cole, so maybe the Cole says we need some pull stations in mm -hmm. the highway town garage where you don't need pull stations. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, we're, we're making... He said, he said something about, well, when people are working on the truck and all of a sudden it starts fire, yeah. they're not going to have time to go pick up the phone and call them. They just right. pull something. Yeah. yeah. He made some comment about yeah. that. Oh, so we can get John here. And, and... I can get him in here. Yeah. He said yeah. he'd be glad to come in and talk to Absolutely, you. Absolutely, yeah. Can. Yeah, it's you know, a good idea. Also we get Johnny at the same time because that way we don't. Do we have to do this before we set the budget? Because no. we don't have a lot of time. No, I think you no. can go with the numbers you have, but before we could, you know, that's what we should be a little concerned.
conservative on the numbers because we don't really know. You know, the we don't want to be close, but yeah, know. yeah, you don't want to be crazy. But we also don't want to under, undercut ourselves too. Right. Okay. So besides what you said, you, you're going to get the number for uh, the monitoring in one line for all the, all the town buildings. Yeah. And then the other thing we were going to. Where are we going to put the, uh, all the uh, numbers for GSI? When are we going to put all GSI under one, yeah. one line? I told you, Allison. <laughs> no? I mean, that's what I thought we said. Yep. It doesn't make any difference to me. It's yeah. just a lot of extra. I don't have, this, that, right now I've got a lot of other priorities. Between mm -hmm. the town report, yeah, the budget. Yeah, but all we need is a number. How much do you charge? Oh, How the total you? number for yeah. all of them? Yeah. I call or do you want me to consolidate all the, all the numbers into one account number? 